Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, it's Jewel and Happy New Year. Wishing all of you a great 2020. Uh, I'm popping on here uh, to tell you what I've got coming up. Um, a series that I'm going to be starting this week on my channel and to share this lovely uh, book of bees here. Um, this is my design team project for um, Junk with Steph. So uh, I've made a beautiful book here out of her honey pot kit and add-on kit. And I'm going to show you that. And as uh, before I show you that, I wanted to let you know that what I've got coming up is a series on nothing but making different types of covers for your junk journals all sorts uh there might be five there might be ten because i've over the years i've made so many different style covers and types of covers and can i want to take you through constructing uh, and there will be some very simple covers that are very quick and easy to do, and then some more complex, such as the one that I made today. So that's what I got planned coming up, guys, and I hope you join me with that. And uh, hopefully in a day or two, I'll have my first cover video up, and that one is going to be a flexi cover and with a open spine but it's not as complicated as it sounds so with that let's get into my journal for the design team project i did come in and make a journal uh, with a honey pot and i'm going to sit down so i can show you the different elements and hopefully you guys can pick up a couple of let me get straight because you know it never is. It's never straight when I start these videos. Um, some tips and ideas of... I'm going to show you some of the elements I did in here and how I constructed them. So, the cover is a hardbound fabric cover. Uh, uh, cover. And I did do some um, raised elements. And it is a hollow spine. Uh, cover so it will lay for uh, binding so it will lay flat uh, there are five uh, it's a five hole pamphlet stitch sewn in and it's three signatures I have not yet counted the pages but it's pretty good size and I did um, some uh, I did this pretty bee you know fabric and um, but I did come in and do some metallic antique uh, or vintage gold paste on it and um, some different type of elements. On this, I did a embossed paste uh, cover. I don't know if you can see the dimensions in that. And then I used Perfect Pearls. I used um, different watercolors. I used, uh, this is a... Perfect pearl, and this is an antique, or the wax, the wax uh, paste here on this, and we've got two elements here, uh, some lace here, and a. I took some of that fabric and I made a nice big tie, and I've got two um, eyelets holding it. So let's get in, and I really had a great time making this journal. Whoops, got some strings. Lots of strings. I did leave all the strings so the recipient can cut the strings off. Okay, now I named it the Book of Bees. A Book of Bees. Um, we'll start off here. We've got a library card. Uh, I did bind it with um, a heavy chipboard. I forget the weight of the chipboard. Uh, and also uh, craft text that's been treated and dyed. And I will be doing a video on how I do my bindings as well um, when I use this type of binding. And then I've got some stenciling here, a little wax seal, some um, soft eyelash trim, and a library card here. 
and uh, it says, what do you suppose? A bee sat on my nose. Then what do you think? He gave me a wink. He said, I beg your pardon. I thought you were the garden. In the English rhyme. I thought that was so cute. Now I did do some texture paste here on a stencil and I made a pocket and this is done with a variety of inks and um, watercolors as well as the, t the embossing paste. <clears throat> In here, it's all bee themed. I've got a postcard with a bee. Now, this one came from uh, the Graphics Fairy, but most of the other items in here are from the kit, as this lovely tag is. And I've got a little bee um, on a on a what do you call it? A ball pin here, a charm, and a, um, some trims here of fabric. I've got this little cute little bee that I put on my cardstock. I added um, some on my own cardstock in here just for the front pages of each signature and for some of the pockets. And um, that I kind of just plopped so it was coming down on one of these pretty daisies. So those two are tucked in there. And let's move forward. This is a, a paper clip I made out of a couple of the elements from the kit. And that I just popped here so you can move it through the book. These are both images from the kit. This I pulled out of one of the, her larger things. And I printed everything on photo quality uh, cardstock and also photo quality um, paper. So uh, the images came out quite nice. And these are just, and then I did both sides. And this has been lined, some of these have some uh, paste on them. But the nice thing about uh, this kit is Stephanie's actually inked around, um, did a lot of, you know, you can see. So you don't even have to come in and ink the page edges and things if you don't want. I did, uh, but you know, the kit is ready-made. Everything I've done in here is inked and it's been distressed in various ways with different elements but the kit kind of stands alone so you don't have to do that but that's just that's just me uh i did come in and do some gold um stitching on a lot of the pages and you will see i did come in and add some uh wax on some of the pages so here's one of her beautiful pages and then look we were lined on the other side now i wanted to show you this coffee dyed paper <clears throat> this is by um i ordered this from uh, Sharon um, Vandegroff. <clears throat> I don't know if she has it in her shop anymore, but I thought it went well because it had the flowers in the butterflies. So what I did in my, on many of the pages is I did do some napkin decoupage, and here's the napkin I used. And isn't it perfect with the honeycomb and the and then the um, the bees so I did do a lot of that and there is some um, wax on there as well okay on this page this is just a little flip and a pocket and I have another little quote books are the bees which carry the quickening pollen from one to another mind James Russell Lowell and that just velcros there and you can see I've, I've done some stenciling here and then um, this these four images were in the kit and what I did is I came in and made this little booklet of them and I distressed uh, the sides with a distressing tool so it looked super old and super warm and then also inked on the other side so you can write on the backs of each of these and so that's just tucked in there up here we have another quote and I've just put it on some cheesecloth and it says, to make a prairie, it takes a clover and one bee. <clears throat> Excuse me, guys. One clover and a bee and reverie. The reverie alone will do if bees are few. Emily Dickinson. Uh, more of her beautiful paper uh, from the kit. Um, we've got a stitched on uh, fabric flip here of that, um, fab that bee. A fabric and then I pulled some um, vintage book papers 
pages out of an old beekeeper's uh, book. So here's a page from it. It says the drone, the worker bee, and the queen bee. So you can come in here, you can read about it. It's kind of cool. Or you can come in and gesso over this uh, and then uh, write on it or just keep it just like that. Now, I like to take these beverage bags uh, that I get and what I do is I came in and I decoupaged a napkin over it and added some wax on there. So there's uh, several of these in here. There's nothing in this one, but you can see there's a lot of room for storing. Uh, I've got some printed vellum. That's an image from the kit. This is writing. Uh, okay, some of these guys I um, did on this heavyweight parchment paper. I like to add these in the book because you can draw on these and use markers on these and they don't bleed like a standard printer paper or coffee dyed paper would. So that's why I like to use these. So I've got the line side there and then the plain side for you to journal. Some ledger here. I've got a little tuck with another a quote or another little poem here and from 1655. And here's another little postcard with a little bee on it on a rose. And here's one of the images from the kit. A writing room here, some stenciling on music paper. And then I've put in the middle of each of the signatures these large uh, pockets. And this is double-sided uh, cardstock that I've printed her images on. And I've just made these big double pockets. And in all the pockets, you'll see I have these nice large tags that I made from papers from the card. And I haven't finished. I wanted to do more tabs of the burlap. So I've got to go through. And also you can see it's even um, on the inside is even um, then stenciled and inked. So you, you know, you can put other things in here besides these large tags, but that's a nice lot of room for writing. Plus there's room, this is a little tight. Maybe I should just trim it a little bit. No, that fits in there. And um, then I've got a little pocket here with a little part of a honeycomb here. And that's from the kit as well. And another little postcard. This is from the Graphics Fairy, and I just popped that in there. And you can write on here or post photos on here. Um, and then I've got another big postcard in here, and I'm not going to pull them all out, but um, these are all elements from the kit. Look at this beautiful, the graphics and the work she did here. It's just beautiful. I did add a little wax here. Um, there's some stenciling there. See that she's got the line paper and it's just it was just a, a lovely kit to work with. Look at this. She's got a little envelope here with um or like a little paper that she's all added in her graphics. It's so nice. It's been tied up with burlap and then I've got another quote here on some of that nice um paper. This is a like a parchment, a thicker parchment paper. Beekeeping is a business that requires the greatest amount of attention to small details. I love this quote. The good beekeeper is generally more or less cranky. <laughs> I thought that was so cute. Um, you've got a little honey pot here and some writing paper. Again, some of that vellum just for texture and that beautiful image. Another one of those um, beverage bags and with some of the wax on it. And this has such a nice feel from the decoupage. Uh, here's bees in a cluster in their hive from that vintage book. Got more um, parchment paper. I've got a lot of really good papers in here. Um, did not spare any expense with the papers. And I usually do that with my journals. They have good quality papers. I have a belly band here that I have not tucked anything in. The book is getting kind of thick, so you can tuck it in. And what I did is I did two of her belly bands together, and then I sewed down the middle, added a little wax on that uh, coffee dyed paper 
from Sharon. Um, got some line paper here. Um, okay, I've got a little honeycomb pocket in here, and I made a um, card, and it just says smile, like a flash card. And here's one of her tags, and I just added a metal grommet and some yellow satin trim, and I did the lining, the lines uh, on the back side for you to write. Uh, all of this has all been inked. There is some wax on some of the pages. Now, here's another belly band that I made out of three of the high, the three of the honeycombs, and I kind of just glued them together, and I did it this way, and nothing is in here. Um, so that's there for you to tuck something into. Okay, we've got the second signature. This has been waxed around, and then we've got this tag and a metal grommet or eyelet here, one of the larger ones. It's kind of more vintage. And by the way, this paper is really pretty. Um, it's got a lot of texture on it that I chose. And this is from a paper kit. It's called, here, let me show you in case you're interested. Uh, I've used, this is the second time I've used this. This is a K and Company, and it's a Susan Winget specialty paper, and it's it's really pretty paper. But I did a lot of inking on it because it was a little bit too bright for what I wanted. I wanted more of the, you know, yellows and muted, and she did have some, see, she did, Steph did use some pink in some of hers, so I did pull out some pink, too. So tried to keep with the colors of the kit. Here we've got a fabric ruffle I made out of some um, fabric trim and then a little um, beads on a ball pin on this pocket. And then I did add some burlap um, paper here and uh, at the top for a um, tab. Now I added on this little honey jar, I added some wax around the outside and I did some uh, metallic wax on the wings of the bees. And I also did it on where she's got the little honey, what do you call those, honey spoon kind of things, where it's dripping. And I don't know if the camera's picking that up. I've got a little um, bee from that napkin that I decoupaged on here. Here's some more paper from the book. Then I added um, all of the um, sections from the book that explain different you know, times in the year of what goes on with beekeeping. So I took those out of the book and put them in here. So this is great for journaling on, or you know, this would be a good gardening book, or anything, it's just a fun book. The beekeeper spring, so then I left this side so you could just write on it. We've got some more printed vellum here. I've got a, a bee stencil here and some stenciling there, ledger paper. See, she even added some stitching down the page, so I it gives it interest, so I did not um, have to do that. I mean, all of my pages are stitched where I have pockets and everything like that but these these pages look like they've been stitched and they're not it's actually in the digital so this is great she's got music paper on there okay I've got a um a paper clip that I made from uh, pieces from the kit another bag and that one's empty okay this big pocket is empty so you can put something in that. And then you've got plenty of writing room here, right in the middle. This is the second signature. I do have a card in this one, or a tag. This is one of her tags. I did a little stenciling on the back of this one as opposed to uh, double printing it and putting the lines. So you can write right over that. We've got another bag here. Uh, you can see I did some more decoupage of the napkin on the on this flower coffee dyed paper. We've got an image from the kit here with writing room. Uh, we've got a stenciling and ledger paper. More um, ve uh, vellum, and then here's the beekeeper summer. So we have spring summer. 
some more of the parchment, thick parchment paper. Um, I did a little embossing texture paste up here and made a little, I don't know, a little decoupage thing up here on there, a little cluster. We've got some decoupage napkin here. Oh, I think I missed, let me go back. I wanted to show you, I have a recipe in here of a honey pie. Okay, where is that? Right here. This came from an old book. It says honey apple pie, and it's actually the whole recipe. And here's this part, and here's the other part if you want to make that uh, pie. So that's in there. It's writing room here. Then I've got a pocket here with another um, fabric uh, ruffle element here. And I did a pin here with um, some crystal beads and then a um, B on the ball pin. Another one of these little booklets that I had shown in the front. Another tag here with some um, burlap trim. Okay, uh, I left this as is because of the texture and, uh, and the bees, and you could do a photo here or you can just write right on that. Okay, now we've got our third signature in this paper, beautiful from that paper kit. Now, again, I made another pocket where I did the texture paste, and um, actually it's not texture paste, it's called embossing paste. Uh, I don't have it out here, but with a stencil I do that, and then that's some different uh, paints and ink and what do you call it waxes and stuff and then here we've got another one of the tags from the kit so pretty and then I did the lined on the opposite side for you to write on okay here I've got a little um, a little pocket here with a little postcard that's got a B on it and then just a tag here that you can write on and it had this pretty, this is some just beautiful paper I had in my stash. So I just thought the color went well there. Another paper from the kit. I think I added at least one of every, if not two, of every page from her kit. Uh, I've got a little B up there that I decoupaged and I just um, did a little thing here. It says the Beekeeper Summer some decoupage here. Here's some of that uh, handmade type paper here. And this just pops open, you can write on it. So it's just a corner flip. And in here, actually I have to fix this. This was a Velcro, but it's not sticking well. So I need to come back and glue on both sides of that Velcro. So let me put that aside and I will fix that. Uh, and then I added some more of that paper as a tab at the top of this tag and added a little um, sequin there and a little sequin there just for interest. And this is some of her beautiful paper here. Here we are, the Beekeeper's Autumn. And there again, room for writing. And then this is another page from the kit room to write. I've got a bag here, one of my wax bags, wax wax paper bags, and then I just printed off this large, or this, this whole paper for you to either write a note on and pop in a, um, you know, pop in an envelope and send to a friend or journal on memories on whatever you want to do with that let me put it in this way it's a nice big bag i like using these bags um then we've got more paper from the kid i got some ledger paper with some stenciling i've got another edith holden paper page here and i chose the ones that had the bees on them we've got a piece of baking paper here Okay, two more large pockets here for adding more items. Another Edith Holden page here with bees. 
and the butterfly. I love her illustrations. More baking paper, more um, ledger paper, another fabric flip here on that. Um, until I need to work the book a little bit. It's very full. Uh, more bag here. And the Beekeeper's Winter. And here, uh, more room for writing. Here's another one of her illustrations, or her um, work from the digital, another digital. Some more of that paper. And we are nearing the end. And here is a pocket, and I've got three items in here. Got a nice big tag here for writing with a pretty image on the other side, or illustration. Little butterflies there. Here's a postcard. This one is actually from the Graphics Fairy, and then a tag from the kit. And I added just a little uh, tab up there. So that's in there, and then we have this beautiful paper, and I just added a little B on the um, daisy there, and I left the back cover as plain. So that is my book of bees, and for my design team project for January for uh, JWS, which stands for Junk with Stuff. So I hope you enjoyed it, guys, and I hope you join me for my cover making series that's coming up, and I will be back. So have a blessed day. Thanks for watching. Bye.